Xbox guy. Everybody else in the group uses a computer. That is, as far as I know, the only reason that I'm getting so much hate from everyone else on the team. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. We actually hate Brian the most. Um, basically, the point of this series is we are going through all of the games available right now on Game Pass. We are giving you some first looks. We are telling you a little bit about it, well, as much as I can without spoiling it for myself, because this is also... Um, the first time that I'm playing the game myself, so it's a good time for you to come on in and enjoy the, the experience. Press so far, the start. soundtrack is great. Um, this is a narrative adventure game, uh, supposedly taking place in the viewpoint of two different uh, families and as you go through it you kind of learn a little bit more about it um, and that's kind of like all I know about the game um, welcome Fred Fred is another one of the boys from the channel feel free to uh, give him a shout out He's the one who's playing Ratchet and Clank all the time. We're gonna play solo. Ooh. Oh god, what should our name be? You know what, Fred, you're here. We will we will give you the honors. And I play with my voodoo dog. Stick those pins and drop them in the sand barn in the US. Ooh, it's like a find the uh it's too late, I already put Fred. <laughs> Let's uh, let's all see how bad I am at uh, at quick play actions, quick time actions, really. So far, the art looks pretty good too. It looks a little bit like me. It's not it's not exactly like me. It looks a little bit like me. You know who it actually looks like? It looks like uh from uh Stranger Things. Hoppa. We have to line it up exactly. Zoe Walker. Not so long ago, I wanted to be a journalist. Now, I just want to hold my breath and sink. Not because I want to black out, but for the calm that comes beforehand. When thoughts die and memories tremble. 90 seconds. That's about how long it takes for me. And suddenly, it's like none of it ever happened. Get your kicks on Route 66. Are we gonna play? 
Sorry, Pumpkin. You, you bet we're gonna play. Now, I know you're an expert, but are you sure you've looked at everything? Mm, trust me. I got this. Okay. Then what color is... Ooh, this is fun. This is already fun. Let's go to the big truck. Big truck! Um, that big truck, way up there. Depends what part of the truck. Okay, Smarty. How about the exhaust pipe? Um, that's where all the smoke comes out, and it's gray. Hey, you are rocking this today, Zoe. Looks like you're ready for the next level. What's the next level? You ask me one final question. If I don't get it on the first try, <laughs> you win the whole game. Let's play it. Okay. Let me just have one last look around. Ready? Oh, there's a timer. Oh, wait, I'm gonna have to guess. Oh, no! Um, how many stars are oh, right, exactly? this is a video game. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh. No peeking. We peeked. We broke the rules. We're a bunch of rule breakers. Is it six? You cheated. It's true. I would never. I saw you. You looked. What's the matter? Are you okay, love bug? Daddy's 30 years older and he still cheats. <laughs> I'm sure he was just playing. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm back in the car. We still got 45 states license plates to spot. <clears throat> hey. Hey. You. You doing okay? Yeah, sure. It's, uh. You know, I'm fine, Michelle. We're good. <sighs> Why are you guys acting weird again? It's nothing, hun. Just a long trip. I tell you, the only thing worse than feeding a dog fast food is smelling it again on the way out. Hey, grandpa. there's a dog. Wait, I'm your grandpa? All this time, I thought you were my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> How far'd you walk? I was worried you got lost. Oh, just to the tree. You know dogs. They think they're the ones holding the leash. All right, crew, buckle up. I that seemed unnecessary, but all right. For the night. You're listening to Drive Time on KMRT, Blackstaff's first and finest. It's another beautiful Arizona afternoon, and your weekend starts here. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm just too frightened by the sound <laughs> of it. Pieces of love fall down the bed. Yeah. So, what's next? License plate game? Another round of row, row, row your boat? <laughs> oh, I don't know. You fell asleep halfway through your solo. You definitely get first prize for keeping her entertained. I am not entertaining. I am shepherding. <laughs> you are my flock, and I plan to herd you to St. Louis in high spirits. <laughs> nice try. Wasn't taking the scenic route your idea? I wanted to do this trip at 30,000 feet. I'm not complaining about the drive. I'm just trying to picture Vince living in the Midwest. His name is Vince. So, you know, it doesn't check out. Hey, it's gonna be awesome. 
I'll learn the banjo, get myself a ticket to Country Palooza. <laughs> ha ha, you're very funny. St. Louis is as urban as it gets, and you know that. And actually, the whole city's turning around these days. I'm kidding. I know. It'll be fine. You've got your tenure. I've got... my new job. Couldn't make me work for a pet food company if it was the only job left in the country. Jim, I don't think that's helping. Ten thousand bucks. You should have gone for the jugular. Sued those bastards at the airline the way they pinned that thing on you. Not signed some settlement paper. I haven't signed it yet. But you still want to, right? I know it's your call, but I think it's time to put this whole thing behind us. I know, it's just... It's hard. And once I sign, that's it. I'll never work for an airline again. I know. To Rock County. Vince was a good kid, but he always did let people walk all over him. When you were small, you asked me to buy you these cheap action figures so you'd have something to give the kids at school when they picked them. <laughs> and what was I like in high school, huh? Ouch. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you two didn't want me to come. You could have said so. Could have been Rango. Zoe wanted you to come. How's the, uh, how's the game, uh, how's the game audio? Please, Jim, let's just take it down a notch and try to get through the next three days. Without me talking, you mean. <sighs> hey, I'm glad we're spending a few days together on like I said, once we get settled in the new days. Uh. See, I already, I already missed the first one almost. Ah! Zoe. Are you okay, pumpkin? What happened? She's just shaken, I think. Fred, did you look at the screen? Whose fault was that? Great. Hey, thanks for coming back. If you give me Learn a how to drive, asshole. Are you kidding me? Country kids. Or a desert version. Lucky we're still in one piece. No, I meant out of the two cars. Who's at fault? Yeah, obviously the passenger shouldn't be distracted by <laughs> the driver. The look on his face. I hope he didn't see our license plate. Nah. Stupid fucker was too busy yelling into the wind. Not my fault. That's the one. 28 Northwood. Ugly as hell. These houses all look the same to me. Jay, you ready? Listen, if they weren't at fault, they wouldn't be worried about the license plate. Jay! What? Head out of the clouds, little bro. Knew we shouldn't have brought him. Come on. He'll pull his weight. And they're about to rob a house. This is just like we talked about. Probably. There's enough cash in that safe yep. to put the last few weeks behind us. We stay alive. We keep the house, everything goes back to normal. For the sake of the audience, let's just see if there's a... No, doesn't look like it. <clears throat> oh, that's okay. 
They'll just have to deal with it. Gotta line up. And you're sure it's empty? On Fridays, he takes his wife to an appointment. Same deal every week. You're always out skulking in the woods, climbing trees and all that. We all know you're good at it. And you want to help the family, right? You know I do. Then here's your chance. Oh, Hot these are the guys from, uh... Whoa! Does Ma know you took that? No. But someone's got to watch your backs. These are the guys from Fast and the Furious. It's about family. Before they're home. If you hear three honks, you run like hell. Hey, let's party. Dale! Your character Nicole. wasn't paying attention. Jay can read! Don't screw this up, kid. Fred, remember that for us. All right, you go do your Tarzan bullshit over the back gate. I'll try the garage. Never know when you might get lucky. I said remember, I didn't say cheat. Hey, hey. Doggone it. <clears throat> Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Shed. What's that? <laughs> wow. Idiot. What a dork. <clears throat> and by that, I mean the guy who did the nose flick trick. Not the guy who got two got turned. Whose house is this? Dante Romero. King of the pigs. <clears throat> Wait. The sheriff? Yep. You know Ma's beef with him goes way back. Wow. Even before he sent me to juvie. Ballsy. But, but what? The way I see it, he owes us. So, we ought to fuck this place up a little while we're at it. Tyler said we only have an hour. Maybe we should start looking for the safe. Ah, whatever. What'd you do that for? They might test it or something. Oh, come on. This is two rock, not NYPD blue. Now get looking for that safe. It's gotta be behind that painting. But that's where they that's where they want you to look. left his wallet. Told you he's an idiot. Dishonesty. find anything just a little cash wow maybe the safe's upstairs hmm yeah maybe what are you doing it's for my girlfriend you don't have a girlfriend shut up i'm working on it hey, hey. when life gives you lemons <laughs> come here help me get a little payback Oh my god. We 
we shouldn't waste time. And anyway, that's gross. Ah, uh, you're a fucking wimp. You know that? No, I'm not. He's literally no, pissing not. in Piss the lemonade. <laughs> Alright. Enough screwing around. That, when, that get, when that guy Look gets upstairs, back, he's gonna I'll get he's gonna be pissed here. off, let me tell okay. you. Repairing jumbo jets, you think I'd be able to fix a car? You okay? Yeah, sure. Seen one motel, you've seen them all. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Jamal, Ryan's mom said I can stay over tonight. Don't wait up. You gotta ring the bell. Ooh, the time is getting progressively shorter. It's like, are we getting used to it? Hey, sorry about that. Thanks for waiting. Hi. We got in an accident a few miles east of here. I don't suppose you have a couple of empty rooms and the number for a tow truck? Ooh, no dice. Our mechanic's away in Tucson for the weekend. All right, then, just the two rooms. That'll be 70. <laughs> Cash only. I've got, uh, 52. That's enough for one room. Hey, Joyce! I'm doing something! All right, fine. One room. Here you go. Hi, I'm Michelle. Thanks so much for accommodating us. Well, we're not exactly full. Glad to help. It was a fuse again. Problem with not having breakers is... Oh, hey. Welcome to Two Rock. Paul, do me a favor. Go ask Norman to tow this guy's car back here to the lot. Ah, dang. You burst a tire or something? I I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Engine problem, actually. But you're welcome to try. It's a red SUV. East. You can't miss it. I'm on it. Mm. Hey, do I know you? Nah. People just mistake me for Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Ugh, thank God we're out of that heat. <laughs> Are we on vacation now? Do we get to go in the pool? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Our swimsuits are in the moving truck. And stop jumping on the bed, okay? Then, can I watch the Nature Channel? Please? Hey, I said stop jumping. I'll stop if you let me watch my show. It's educational. All right, but only a half hour. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. And you have to tell me some cool facts afterwards. Man, we raised one hell of a negotiator. It's been a tough day. <laughs> she can have this one. <laughs> you okay? Uh, I don't know. It feels pretty sore. 
Would you mind robbing it for a minute? Well, this is cozy. Who am I sharing a bed with? Yours truly. Fair warning, I spoon in my sleep. Well, I'm gonna take Zeus for a walk. Vince, uh, would you mind joining me? Didn't we just walk a mile? Well, he has to pee, and I wanna talk to you about something. Uh, I don't even know who Jim is. Sure, I'll come. We won't be long. Maybe he's one of maybe he's one of their step parents. I don't blame you, you know, for. Taking yeah, but Michelle they're both calling him Jim. Can't be easy having me yanking the chain like that when you two are so on edge. Are you about to give me marriage advice? Because if I recall, you walked out on yours. No, no. I just wanted to say thank you for these last few months. Getting to know you again, getting to know Zoe, it's been a blessing. I'm glad she got to meet you. you know the worst part oh, yeah. of living with with having this tumor in my head. With you, it's probably having to look back on a lifetime of shitty decisions. Yeah, that's... Uh... You got me, Pat. I disappeared for 30 years. I can only imagine how that must have been for you and your mother. Also, I could get high and flip off the world. How could you have thought you'd be happier without your family? I mean, without mine, I'd, I'd be... I don't know. I guess I just never liked being tied down. With a family, I felt... Trapped? But not by you. By the responsibility. I think it's the same thing. I'm sorry, Sam. I am. And I know I've done nothing to earn your trust, but I need to ask you something. Okay. The doctors, they say I might have as little as two years. They don't have a clue, of course, but... Well, I know you said you could drop me in Tulsa, that I tracked down some friends there. Just spit it out, Jim. How would you feel about me living in the new house with you and Zoe and Michelle? Are you serious? Six months ago, I didn't even know you were alive. Now you want me to... To... I, I, I don't want to be sick in the hospital. I want to be around family. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta talk to your partner about that kind of thing. <sighs> Jesus. All right, I'll talk to Michelle. Really? I don't know what to say. Thank you. <clears throat> Come on, let's go celebrate. Celebrate what? I didn't tell you yes. Oh, hey there. Got your car towed back for you. You were right. It's more than I can fix with duct tape and a socket wrench. What do I owe you? Nothing. Your guests. Get it right back, quick. What in the world? On the ground, now! Oh, I say get on the ground! Good boy. Yike. Now hang on. You don't need to call for help.
Nobody's gonna hurt you, okay? Right. Sorry. Look, we just came for the money, then we're gone. I don't know. Don't you know? Doesn't he tell you? Oh. Sorry. I shouldn't pry. <laughs> uh. Thank you. It's fine. I'm gonna try his office. That a boy. Wait, so if he's not at this appointment, where is he? <clears throat> Damn, we gotta go for the bookcase, right guys? Oh, uh, but the painting! Ah! Uh! Hold on. We're cheating. We're flipping a coin. Tails, the painting, heads, the bookcase. We got heads. We're going to the bookcase. Oh, thank God. Bird watching. That's cool. Wow. We did it, boys and girls. We got a book. Damn, I kind of want to go for the desk, though. All right, we, we already decided our two options here. Yeah, we have an hour, but who knows how long we've been here already. What happened here? And last time this happened, we only got to check two things. Gross. Gross. Ah! Search bookcase again. That's the only option, right? No, oh, you could look outside. Dale! I found it! What the... Where's the code? Uh oh. Uh, I think it was five nine six two. Is that right? Oh, it's not right. Oh, shit. I don't have enough time. Damn it. Come on. Yes. Whoa. Dale, check it out. Holy shit. <laughs> How much does this prick make? Here, let's load it up. We got an achievement. It's Not called Code Breaker. I'd give it all to charity. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <sighs> Hell no, I wouldn't. I'd run and buy a 64 Pontiac GTO. Prettiest piece of metal you ever saw on four wheels. Ugh. What about you? Now, what would you do if you could keep all this cash? I 
it's not for us. It's for paying off Pa's debts and everything. Well, I didn't say we weren't. I was just asking if. Well, even if, I don't think we should. Whatever. Goody two shoes. Play it cool when we're outside. Hey, we were plumbers. Call to check a clock. <sighs> Shit. Go. Go. Not coming up. Just came from my wallet. Got your PT rescheduled for Monday, by the way. Oh, I was hoping it'd be the lemonade. So he has a reason to just instinctively draw his gun when he hears a noise, so... That means he's definitely up to some shit. Came back early. Yeah, no shit. Did you get the money? Oh, we got it all right. <laughs> nice work. Drive! Like, what the fuck are you way, doing? Huh? Have a little celebration. We're going to be celebrating every day for a week. Son of a bitch. Dispatch, this is C1. I need all available cars in the area of West Two Rock. Searching for a blue pickup truck. Copy on your request. Is everything mm. okay? I no, wonder if he's obtained... Okay. I need units now. Someone robbed my house. I wonder if he's obtained the money illegally, though, because we got an achievement called Smooth Criminal. Criminal. Because if he had, if he did illegally, how'd they even find us? We got away clean. Would he have called the cops? He must have seen the truck. Listen up. We're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. Don't do anything stupid, and you'll be fine. Understood? <laughs> We understand. Whatever you say. Good. That's what I want to hear. <coughs> you, keep that dog quiet. Shh. It's all right, Zeus. Let's just jack a car. Drive back the other way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks. Vince, we need to do something. can we do? They have guns. So we take their guns away and get our faces blown off. Jesus, Jesus. That mechanic in the background, like, what the fuck? Can't stay here. <clears throat> we can until dark. Then we set out cross country. It's our best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta Drop move. the weapon. <sighs> Easy now. Let's I just... said drop it. Let's all just take a deep breath, okay? It's my motel. I'll deal with them. No, he's right. Joyce, if that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. But it don't have to be like that. If we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said take off the masks. No. You're the Hulk boys. You're the ones who hit our car. Paul, take the shotgun. I... I, 
I'm sorry, I can't. Christ. Really, Paul? You. Grab the gun. <laughs> now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. Ah! Paul was right. No more guns. To it. Hey, you get the truck hit away? It's it's in a shutout back. Tyler, these people didn't do anything to us. They will if we let them. You and Dale, line them all up. I need to make a call. <sighs> it's me. We got a problem. Desert Dream Motel. All right, shitheads. Over by the tables. You boys. You haven't hurt anyone, have you? Nah, yeah, we killed the president. Ain't that right, bro? You're the middle brother. The one who got himself sent off to juvenile hall. Shut the fuck up. Why? Everybody knows. Joyce, don't. From what I hear, you're just like your daddy. Another fucked up Holt thinks the world's his to break. What, like this? Hey. Or how about this? <laughs> Come on, man. Is that necessary? Are you necessary? <laughs> Shut it up. Now. He's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. It's just nervous, Dale. I don't care what it feels. I want it to shut up. Hey, hey, Zeus. Remember me? I said, shut the fuck up. Dale, what are you doing? It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me. Or what? You'll break my face too? Or are you just gonna shoot me? Zeus, quiet. Jim, give him here. That's it. Good boy. Nice and calm. Shit. Hey. Easy, Zeus. Easy. There. Are you happy? Put the gun down. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what? I'm tired of you. Tape her mouth shut. Do your own dirty work. Hey, wake up. Uh, why is there so much luggage in your SUV? Huh? <sighs> Who else are you traveling with, huh? You tell me the truth now. Uh, the circus. Oh, man, it's so good, though. Ah! Ah. My dad and I ran off and joined the circus. You can come too if you want. A uh, real funny fat ass. Look, it, it's just him and the other guy. See? There's only one key missing. You know something? I don't like you. 
You got this look like you're scared shitless. Tell me I'm wrong. I mean, he does look pretty scared. Of course I'm scared shitless. It's a cop. What do we do? That's just Big Sam. He buys a soda, talks for a while, then he's gone. Jay, in the back. Go with him. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the cop. You hear me? Sure thing, boss. You two. Keep your mouths shut and this will all be over faster. <laughs> You're coming with me. Hey there. Evening. Hey, Sam. Paul, how's things? Slow as usual. Yeah, like my daddy always said. If you don't slow down, you don't see the wall before you hit it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Where's uh, Joyce and her kid? Upstairs? Oh, uh, Ash is at a friend's house for the night, and Joyce isn't feeling well. She's been in bed for days. Uh, sorry to hear that. Let's leave it. Say, uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Maybe out on the road somewhere? Nope. Been here all day. How you liking the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. Yeah, Joyce runs herself a tight ship. <sighs> so, who else are you traveling with? Gotta keep our story straight. Oh, just me and my dad over there. Evening, officer. Oh. So, uh... Why the booster seat? Come on, dude. I saw your car when I pulled in. Bro. California plates? What, that one? That's not mine, no. It's the only out-of-towner out there. No, I just mean we borrowed it from a guy with, um, you know, kids. Borrowed it, huh? Can I uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? We're just here for the night. On our way to Missouri, actually. Oh, yeah? Why Missouri? If you don't mind me prying. My wife grew up there. You know what? It doesn't matter. No problem. Just had to ask. <clears throat> Big Sam, where are you at? <laughs> There's a dream, but I'm on my way back. Anyway, we're looking for three idiots who broke into the sheriff's house. If you can believe anyone would be that stupid. They're armed and dangerous, so if you hear anything, you call 911. Any idea who it was? Nah, they covered their faces. So they uh, wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that why? Which choice better for me? Daddy! Mommy said I can stay up late tonight. Welp. What took you so long? <laughs> Hang on, who are you? I'm his wife. Is something the matter? You're his, uh, right. You said it was just you and your dad. Vince, what's happening? Nothing. Just chatting with one of Two Rock's finest. Mommy, look! I found a cool earring! 
Is this one of Joyce's? Oh, she was just looking for that. I thought she was sick in bed. Oh. Wait, is that blood? Look, are you sure everything's okay here? I'm wondering the same thing. If I'd seen anything, I'd tell you, I swear. Hmm. As soon as I walk out that door, I'm gonna radio for backup. Now laugh like I told you a joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good one, right? Take care now. You lied to me. What did you expect? What did he say, huh? Does he know? He just told me a dirty joke. What joke? It was about... Uh, about the manager. No, I ain't falling for it again. <sighs> Dale, Jay. We're leaving early. We're taking her. What? Wait, no. You lie about things, you lose them. Hang on now. If we get away without being followed, I'll drop her at a payphone. But if you call the cops... Please, I'm begging you. Leave my wife out of this. If you need someone, take me. It's not up for discussion. If you want to help her, keep the cops away. Well, I mean, it's not really giving me a choice, is it? to hold a gun anymore. Tell him to let her go. If I did that, it wouldn't be a standoff. Vince, maybe you should put the gun down. Or maybe you keep your toys for once. Is this really what you want? In front of your kid? I knew you'd be sensible, but I can't let you get away with that. Wow. Oh, he's dead. We've completed chapter one. This is a good game. Uh, I think uh, I think this is definitely one that I'll go back to. I think this is definitely a good game to play in between all of uh, <clears throat> all of the uh, all of the other games that you're playing. So in between all the action and the adventure and the the spells and the bullets, I think this would be a good game to wind down with. Lots of intrigue, lots of value. 
Uh, I definitely recommend this one. I think, uh... I was told that I should consider doing ratings, so on a first look rating, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. I think it was really good. Uh, I think you guys should consider it, and it's free to play, so literally no uh, cost to you, except for if you get sucked into it, 56 minutes of your time. Um, yeah, I know, Fred. It was great. Fred said he didn't expect it to be that good. It was really good. Like, the story was, like, you know, the story was good, and, the like, the interactions, like, the split the split stories of the two families merging into one, and the interactions you got to take were, were really good, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, don't just take our word for it. Try it for yourself, and uh, we will see you next time. Have an amazing night.